Penguins are among the most recognizable animals in the wild. While they look a little bit clumsy on land wandering around, they are great swimmers. They are so good that you realize that the ocean is where they really belong. Penguins have adapted well to the changing world around them, even if all the species live in the southern hemisphere. So for today, we've listed some of the most interesting facts about penguins you might not know. So stick with us throughout the video to find out. Their tuxedo isn't just a fashion statement. Penguins have a pretty distinctive black and white coat, which acts as a type of camouflage to protect them from hunters above and below. The black blends in with the sea waves and their white bellies blend in with the sunlight coming through the surface, as seen from below the sea surface. They don't have teeth. In keeping with many of their other winged relatives, Penguins don't possess teeth. Instead, fleshy spines on the inside of their mouth are used to help them to grab and to eat their prey. They are actually pretty fast. They might not look like it because of their walking style, but some penguins can move pretty quickly when they need to. Of course, they walk slowly and funny. But what about swimming? The Gentoo penguin can swim at speeds up to 35 km per hour or 22 miles per hour for the very specific imperial audience. Most other penguins swim underwater at around 6 and 12 km per hour. For reference, the fastest swimmer in the world is Michael Phelps, who swims at speeds of only 6 km per hour. Now that's fast. We can see penguin colonies from space. Nearly every penguin breeds in colonies so that they are protected from predators. When you have a lot of penguins in one place, you have a lot of penguin poop. In fact, there is so much poop that stains the ice. Pretty gross, but scientists are able to identify where the penguins are based on darker patches of ice. These patches are visible from satellite images. They lose all their feathers at once. Other birds lose feathers and replace them as they go. You've probably seen feathers fluttering around in nature reserves and parks, but this isn't the case of penguins. They lose all the fur at once, a time called the catastrophic molt, which lasts for two to three weeks. Penguins must spend this time on land. It happens once a year, and as they can't swim or hunt when this is happening, they have to eat plenty of food to make sure they put on weight before this happens so they are insulated. They use oil to keep themselves warm. They have an oil gland near their tail that produces waterproof oil. Using their feathers, penguins spread this across their body. It helps them glide gracefully through the water and insulates them against cold. A messy but very important job in the freezing cold Antarctic seas. Penguins are carnivores. We bet you thought they only ate fish. <laughs> no. Penguins do, in fact, eat a variety of food including fish, squid and crabs. During the summer months, these small bird-like creatures can eat one kilogram of food a day. This is similar to the weight of a bag of sugar. In winter, this reduces to less than half this amount. Most species are under threat. Currently, there are 18 different species of penguins in the world, ranging from the small Magellanic penguin to the bigger and more well-known emperor penguins. They are quite vulnerable to climate change because of where they live and can also be affected by oil spills, pollution and predators. Out of the 18 different species, only 5 are not threatened. Most penguins are monogamous. This means that male and female penguins mate for life. Mating season for most penguins happens in between spring and summer months. Recent scientific research has found that penguins will stick together for the mating season and then return to the same partner the following year. Male emperor penguin look after their baby penguins. After mating, the female emperor penguin will lay one egg and place it on the male's feet to keep it warm. The male then covers the egg with her feathers. This is called brood pouch. He looks after the egg, taking very special care of it for two months until it is ready to hatch. During this time, the female will go out and hunt for several weeks, traveling up to 80 kilometers of distance. 
So that's it for today. How did you like those penguin facts? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see more amazing stuff about the world, head on to our channel and choose from a variety of themes and categories. We upload every week new videos, so subscribe to get notified for new uploads. Thanks for watching.